Yeah, Boilermaker will. I'll explain it to you right now while I'm driving. And um, so, basically, I'm what as expected. Uh, we went out a little bit slow. Kind of got locked into that slower pace, but um, I think before halfway, I was really struggling. My body really just really didn't feel it today, and I had that feeling once again that I wanted to drop out. But um, you know, I said to myself, you know, I want a pace that's a little faster than last year, and I know. If I stick in maybe to the last mile or two, I'll kick really hard and I'll have a good PR. And it turned out I ran in the 46 minute range and, you know, almost a minute PR from last year. And it really came down to those last two miles, that last mile where I was able to close so fast. Like my kick was there, but my aerobic system, my actual body really wasn't, but my legs had the kick and the power in there. Um, but uh, everything else during the race, the middle of the race is really where I fell apart and just did not have, you know, the best race um, of my life. But uh, the field is definitely more stacked this year. It was uh, top five American and 18th overall out of a lot of Kenyans, a lot of Ethiopians. And well, so here's another moral. You don't drop out of a race when you're on away for a PR. And you don't drop out of a race even though you may be on PR pace or just below that because you never know what could happen in the, the last few miles of the race. You may have that second wind and like just realize that you just wake up and you're like, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go now. And it turned out like that. It's like, I had to go. I had to go now. <laughs> With that, and I ended up catching a few guys and they just closed it in. So, you know, maybe I was just saving it too much in the middle, but like, I was really struggling in the middle of the part of the race, and oh god, I felt awful. Um, just, I guess, from racing so much this, this spring, I yeah, just from racing so much, and yeah, I guess my body just had had it. So um, in the end, it's you don't drop out of a race, okay? Because you never know how it's going to play at the end. You never know what what you're going to do. It could always turn out for the better. And sometimes you could be in the middle race having a great race and then all of a sudden fall apart the last two miles. So, and plus, do you want to take the car right back to the finish line? I don't think so. Uh, as an invited athlete, you expect it to do your best. You run your hardest. And I closed that last mile fast. And I ran as hard as I can. I just sprinted. And, you know, I came, I came in with nothing left. So... You know, maybe I shouldn't have ran that little 4th of July race on uh, Monday for like a tempo because I probably pushed a little bit too hard and just wore myself out a little bit. So you got to be smart sometimes. I'm not too smart all the time, but it's okay. We're all in the world together. We're all human, right? We all make mistakes, but uh, so that's really it. My body really didn't have it. Did a lot of races. I did the work, and now I'm going to be taking a few... Uh, a little vacation. Uh, I'm gonna run easy this week, and then uh, next week I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna be in China, and you know, spend time with my girlfriends for a couple of weeks. So I'll have like two weeks off. I'll, run, I'll still run a mile or so, very little a day. And then you know, the last week I'm there, I'll, I'll probably pick it up again, start training. And I'm gonna be getting ready for like a full marathon or something. I don't, I don't have the plans in right now, but um, I'll let you guys know. So, yeah, we gotta finish this four hour drive, right? So, you never stop running. You never stop. And that applies to never stop running in a race. So, you don't drop out of a race because you're feeling bad. And you don't drop out of a race because you're feeling good. And a lot of it is nerves. People got a lot of nerves. You know, just forget about it. You, you run the race, finish the race, and you get the benefit of uh, the workout from it, you know? You know, that hard effort, you know, it's gonna set your body straight. It's gonna make you stronger next time. And learning to race when you're not feeling good, just to hit a good place, so to hit that, you know, top five, top three American spot or whatever. You do what you gotta do, right? Do what your mother gotta do. <laughs> so, they expect you to win, they expect you to race, they expect you to finish, whatever. You're in the race, we're all in the race together. But in the end, you're in the race with yourself. You're running against yourself. Sometimes place doesn't matter. Sometimes it does. But I always want to do good for myself. I always want to hit the fast times for myself. So think about when you step on the line, 
you're in the race for yourself. You're racing against yourself and you use all the other competitors to help pull you through a good race or a fast time. So, never stop running, always inspiring. Don't drop out of races, finish them. Okay, I only love food.